So this is new to me. And when I say it's new to me, this is truly a champagne that I have never, ever, ever tried. And I was absolutely shocked to find it in one of my local champagne stores here in Minneapolis. I was in the store with my oldest boy and we were picking up some, some cheese and, and I wanted to see what the champagnes were in the store. And, and I saw the Oudouette of Fis and I said, you have got to be kidding me. And I snagged it. And I snagged a couple of bottles of it actually. Um, uh, and I just can't wait to get into it. So uh, without further ado, I mean, I can talk all day about something I've never tried, but let's, let's get into this and let's have some fun with this and give it a try. Let's talk about champagne. There's this place, and it is tucked away on the border of the Côte d'Anc. It is near a place called the Toge. It is a little itty bitty village called Bunet. Just because it's little doesn't mean that it isn't fantastic. It is one of the most beautiful places I had ever been, and as a matter of fact, that's where I was fortunate enough to spend my time when I was in Champagne during harvest this past year was the guest of a family in Bunet. And I have to tell you, it is just an amazing place. And because it's so little known, because it's not the Avis, it's not Auger, it, it doesn't get the recognition that it deserves because it's so small. But I'm gonna be honest with you, small is really what we're looking for here. We're not really into the big names, the really popular champagnes, I mean, they have their place, but Everyday Bubbly is about those champagnes that are hard to find and really, really special because of where they come from, who's making them, and why they're making them. Right now, I want to introduce the Odouette de Fils from Bunet, and good lord, I cannot wait to dive into this. So, let's open her up and, and, and have some fun with this. So while I do that, this is a 100% Chardonnay. And what makes this very special is this house is new. When I say new, I mean that in 2017, they vinified their first cuvee. And what that means in, in wine talk is in 2017, they made their first wine. They did their first harvest, they made their first wine, and then they set forth the process of aging and bottling, things like that. But what makes these bottles so special is that they are, when we talk about small batch, I mean, these are small batch. This is bottle number, wow, 1,294 out of 3,686. There are only 3,686 of these bottles in existence. That's amazing. This house is artisanal at its best. This is small batch champagne at its best. This is unfiltered, unchilled. This aged in an oak barrel for 10 months. And then it sat resting on these for 36 months. This is their the best of the best. This is 100% 2018 grapes. This is beyond an expression. This is champagne. Here we go. I, I, I love this moment. Not only because I just saw this moment, but I've never, this is such a surprise for me. 
I, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost giddy here. Here we go. Bro! <laughs> it's always a surprise. <laughs> oh, good grief. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is the first time that's happened. That is the first time it's happened. All right. Let's give this a pour. Immediately, the room is just filled with richness. I mean, honestly, it's like it, it, it's hard to describe what this smells like. So this is their one earth. And as my French teacher has been grilling me over the past few weeks, my pronunciation is terrible. So I've, I've, I've decided if I can't pronounce it properly, I'm not gonna. But translated, one earth. This is a connection. And when I say it's a connection, it is just, this is a connection to their land, to their ground, to their region, to their village, to their family. It's one earth. And I love that. I love that. I love that idea. And this is just amazing. It is 100% Chardonnay from one plot in the family land. Okay. It is unfiltered. It is unchilled, barrel aged natural metalactic fermentation. Ooh. Here we go. All right. That's soft. I mean, it, it, it smells like softness. I mean, it really does. It, it, it's at first, I was when I first opened it. I was it, it had a it had a nice smell to it. It really kind of filled the room. I, I could really smell it. But having sat for a few seconds, oh, it's there! Oh my God, it's there! I'm getting the chalkiness, a little bit of flintiness, which I, I like. It is crisp, but it's so soft. Oh my goodness, you can smell, you can smell the barrel aging, you can smell the oak. This was aged for 10 months in an oak barrel, and you can smell that, and it is there. Here we go. An interesting thing about this champagne is they say that you can decant this. Now decanting champagne yeah there are a few champagnes out there that recommend that uh, you decant them lightly what does that mean lightly it means you delicately pour it into a decanter not pour it in like wine I mean you got to really pour it in because remember you want to keep the bubbles and be very delicate with it and give it 20 30 minutes at most and it'll open up and I'm telling you this right now has done exactly that it has opened up and it is a completely different champagne than it was an hour ago when I started this oh my god it's it, it's, it is a different champagne it is so different now Oh my goodness. I need another glass of that. The champagne has completely transformed into something different. The effervescence is very, very present. It is very, very alive. It's very, very... The effervescence is strong. It, it's not yielding. And I love that. Some champagnes, you know, the the the, the effervescence doesn't last very long. And, and that's, you know, it's a personal preference. I don't like that. This is sticking around. And, and I like that. 
It is at the perfect temperature. It is at 52 degrees. <sighs> this is rich. This is very, very powerful. This is very, very forward, and it is a singular, singular force. This is one of the most powerful champagnes I have had. And it took a glass and a half and an hour and a half of it breathing and being exposed to the air for it to come to its true potential. And I'm going to be very, very frank. This champagne is not for the beginner. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. It just means that when you do try this champagne, be very, very, very prepared to take your time. Be very prepared to look and find every single note that is there. Understand when you smell it, that, that faint wisp of a campfire, what that means, that is oak age. When you smell that crisp and liveliness that is pure Chardonnay, unblended with anything else. When you look at its color, you have to appreciate it is unfiltered. They, they want it to be what it is. And there's, there's nothing wrong with filtering, but this, this is a statement. These ladies are making a statement and they want you to know they're making a statement. I'm a, I'm a big believer in, in, you know what, your first salvo should be as big as it can be. You know, when you throw a rock, throw the biggest, the, if you're going to throw a rock at a glass house, throw the biggest rock you have. And that's what these ladies have done. They threw a really, really big rock and it has landed. And I hope to God they don't change because this is just fantastic. Oh, the clarity is still there. That that cleanness, that softness, that, that buttery mouthfeel, it's still there. At this point now, I would say I definitely would not. I wouldn't eat anything with this. I wouldn't. I, 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 this is, that's just me. I wouldn't eat anything with it. This, this is a standalone. There's just too much going on here. And, and you need to be present with this. This is a connoisseur of champagne. This is this is a champagne that ups your level. Wow. Just wow. That is so different. It is so powerful. I mean, I'm not used to that with a Chardonnay. I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm used to Chardonnays being light and, and refreshing and airy and, and fruity and, and like a Chardonnay. It's awesome. This is just so deep. This is rich and powerful. This is, this is, this is, this is a sleeper. This is very, very unassuming at first. The labeling is beautiful. The bottle is beautiful. The technical data on the back is beautiful. I mean, they, they're telling you everything about the champagne, where it's from, the area it's from, the field it's from, the, 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 the area that it, that the, 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 the direction of the sunlight it gets. I mean, they're, they're telling you everything, but what they're not telling you is to be prepared for a very bold experience. This is the difference between, this is like, this is the difference between say eating, you know, Wonder Bread and going into a French village and finding a little old grandmother who's making her own bread and has been for the past 85 years. This is a wholesome, whole champagne that is mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. This is just so clear. It is, it is so, you don't have to guess. You, you, you taste it and you, and you understand it immediately. 
Wow. Oh. Well, again, this is our uh, second review of, in our Bune series, the Udwet uh, in Vis. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. My French teacher is all over me, but it is what it is. I'm getting there. Um, thank you again for spending this time and letting me letting me share a great moment because again, I don't I don't get this very often. And to be able to really open up a bottle of champagne and try it for the first time and be surprised um, is is a rare rare experience for me. And this this was really worth the wait and I'm glad I have a couple of bottles of this because this is um, this is amazing absolutely amazing and I'll be honest I do not think that the liquor store I got this from has any clue what they've got I, I, I don't think they know I don't think that they understand what they have because if they did they would have done a better job with highlighting the champagne not my problem that said I hope you guys always have a good time enjoying these reviews, and as always, this is by far the best job a person could have. I will never complain. Like, subscribe, drop a comment, let us know what you think, and as always, thank you and champagne every day. Thank you.